Hello, everybody, and welcome to Create Shifts with Wild Abandon. I'm Jay Yen Hom, and today's topic is on hidden loyalties to fantasies. Imagine that. So we all have our own version of、uh, fantasies, and What that life is like, instead of taking actions toward your dreams or taking actions towards something that is real for you, you would create all these fantasies about what needs to happen or how. <laughs> and it may not be obvious, but we all so have our own version of、um, Prince Charming. Coming to rescue us. So, and I wonder what your fantasies are. So, fantasies, rather than your real dreams, right? So, fantasies are always ideas of the ideal that's far, far, far away. Whereas your dreams. Come from your heart, and they are what you can live, what you can create in your life. Yeah, I know it's a really interesting topic because for the people who have all kinds of fantasies about how life should be, it's very hard to sometimes give up. What's actually hurting us? What's actually not appropriate for us, so that we can put in the time to do what's actually congruent with us. So, yeah. So let us begin by just taking a deep breath and bringing your awareness to your heart. And now we'll be in alignment with our guides and angels. Yeah, there we go. And now, for each and every one of you, all the hidden loyalties you have. To a fantasy, or to just some ideal that's far, far, far away that keeps you from taking action towards what you really want in the here and now. So let's release all those hidden loyalties to fantasies of all kind, so that you can start taking action steps on your actual dreams. And then there's some of us who are actually living out some sort of, or trying to live out the fantasy that our parents have for us that we must do this, this, and this, and have this life, have two kids, and a beautiful home, blah blah blah. So that's also a fantasy because it's not what's right for you. So let's release every place where we are more lost in fantasies than in using that energy to take concrete steps towards your dreams. So here we go. All those hidden loyalties, and then the hidden loyalties too. Oh, parents' fantasy for a life. Let's release that. <sighs> And nearly everyone has this hidden fantasy of. Being rescued by someone, 
Prince Charming. <laughs> your knight in shiny armors, or your lady in shiny armors. <laughs> so let's release all that to the light. And then all your hidden fantasies to certain dreams that were probably appropriate at a certain age, but now you have to let them go in order to be congruent with what's true for you. So we all have fantasies and all that, especially in a younger age, where we have this certain version about life and what and how we're gonna live and blah 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 so whatever that fantasy version of life is from your younger self that keeps you from really taking action on what is the real dream for you right now oh and it's Wow, that had a charge to it. And it also feels like for many people, it's hard to let go. It's really, really hard to let go of uh, a certain fantasy life that you've envisioned, envisioned for yourself for so long. And maybe parts of it are still good for you and parts of it, you need to give up. So maybe there's only parts of a fantasy that you need to change a little bit in order to really put energy into what works for you. So yeah, hidden loyalties to, to fantasies that no longer work for you. Oh. And then there are hidden fantasies that are sold to us, or hidden loyalties to fantasies that are being sold to us from the moment we're little kids, watching cartoons, watching TV, watching Walt Disney movies especially. So all the fantasies that are sold to us that we need to let go right now. So hidden ver hidden loyalties to fantasies that are being sold to you by mass media, by the culture you are living in, You notice in so many cultures the fantasy version of life is all, almost always a different version of Cinderella, Prince Charming, Snow White. <laughs> oh, holy, these, all those fantasies that had loyalties to them. Yeah. And for some of us, the hidden loyalty isn't really to a fantasy, but to something that really is time to let go. And it's really hard to give up on a dream that you had for a long time. But sometimes you have to give up on something you've been working on for a long time. And if it's meant to be yours, it will come back. So totally putting too much energy into something that may not be 
for you is like a, a total energy drain. So let's let that go if you can and see what happens and see if it's usually an even better version of that will come back to you that is more in alignment with you and that is totally workable with total ease. That's the beautiful thing about giving up on certain dreams that belong to a different time in our lives, certain fantasies that never even belong to us but were just projected upon us or just was there so all around us, right? In every Walt Disney movie, in every soap opera, <laughs> in every musical, it's all around us. So let's release all the hidden loyalties to all these fantasy versions of life that never even belong to us to begin with. All right, I see there's still more charge around hidden loyalties to fantasies and to dreams that are kind of outdated. So let's release that again. And from the subconscious space, let's release that through all times. All oh, space, all oh, dimensions, all oh, realities and non-realities. Mm. Wow, this still has a charge on it. Wow. So let's see, what other hidden factors are still contributing to all these hidden loyalties, to fantasies, to a fantasy version of life? and even to uh, dreams that are now outdated. So let's release that. And every day we are actually being sold a fantasy version of life. It's, it's called marketing. <laughs> so all the mixed messages from marketing Let's release all that. Um, yeah, this is not so much about like the bad, frightening fantasies as much as in like um, fanciful dreams, a fanciful overly idealized version of life. Like in this day and age, there's this fantasy about work-life balance. And that if you're somehow working too hard, then you're doing something wrong. Because in a work-life balance, you have that life is easy. You have time for your travel, for family, for this, for that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And if you haven't achieved that, then you need so many months of coaching. And you need this. You need that. That really is some sort of fantasy because someone is selling you a fantasy <laughs> call, yeah, they're marketing, right? So all the fantasy versions of life that are being marketed to us, that sometimes they are done so well, we don't even know that it's just a fantasy we are being marketed to in order to buy all these products or all these services. So hidden loyalties to all those fantasies. Let's release all that. 
And I'm not saying you shouldn't be buying products and services, but you're going to buy the ones that are right for you rather than the ones that are just selling you a fantasy version of life that may never be true for anyone to begin with. And if you see someone selling the same services year after year after year, it's like that they really achieve what they say they did. <laughs> yeah, that's very telling, right? It's just marketing. So, God, they're so good at selling fantasy. So all the hidden loyalties to those fantasies that are being marketed to us from every angle. Let's release all that. Oh. Yeah, letting go of an old dream is really, sometimes it feels really painful, but you realize in the days to come, you have more energy to actually do what you're in alignment with doing. And that's the fantastic thing. By releasing hidden loyalties to fantasies and fantasy versions of life, you will have the energy to actually do the things that allow you to find fulfillment and live the dream life that you're in alignment with, right? So release any old dreams that no longer are for you at this time. And if they are for you, it will come back to you. And maybe a different version of that dream will come back to you that is more, even more fulfilling for you. So everything that's holding an old dream in place, let's release that. And we're going to take a few minutes to tune into what's more real for you. And we'll put lots of energy into what is actually real for us. Yeah. So if all the energy you were putting into all those fantasies, all those hidden loyalties to fantasies and outdated dreams were not right for you, then let's put all that energy into the dreams that are perfect for you, that are very fulfilling for you, that allow you to enjoy health and vitality and bring you a deep sense of joy and fulfillment and satisfaction. And maybe by giving up some parts of those fantasies and those outdated dreams, you're allowing yourself to create a version of all that. You can still have elements of all those fantasies, have elements of all those dreams to create something you're totally in alignment with. So let's bring that in. Yeah. And now align yourself with the action steps that are truly for you, that are fun and fulfilling, and expand your sense of yourself, right? We all need some challenges that really expand our sense of self so that you get to know who you are as an infinite being. 
and the divine intelligence of the universe gets expressed through you, for you, as you. Yeah, so you are a perfect vessel and container for divine intelligence to play, to express itself through you. Okay, let that container of you now expand in every direction and time and space. And all the people who are here to support you will support you to create this. So let's include loving support from your guys and angels, loving support from people in this reality. Yeah. And now just put lots of love and light in this container of you, this divine beautiful expression of you that is even more fantastic than all the fantasies and contains so much more joy and a sense of fulfillment than the old dreams you give up on. So we're going to thank our old dreams and fantasies for bringing us to this space of acknowledging what's real and what's fantasy. Wonderful. So, yeah. Beautiful. So now this feels really vibrant and beautiful. This space of you, this container of you living, living out the dreams that you are in alignment with, creating a beautiful life that is fulfilling and allowing, really allowing yourself to be the container and the vessel for divine intelligence to express itself through you as you. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Well, that was fun to play with you all today, everyone. Thank you for joining me. And have a great weekend.